Syria's divided opposition is under growing international pressure to reach agreement on the formation of a new coalition, including rebel groups inside the country. The various factions have been meeting in Qatar under the auspices of the Arab League, with Western powers also attending. The main group, the exiled Syrian National Council, has been criticised after failing so far to produce a united front. President Assad has told Russian TV that any Western intervention would have catastrophic worldwide consequences and he said he would live and die in Syria. The United States is against me, the West is against me, many Arab countries, including Turkey, which is not Arab, of course, against me. And if the, people, if the Syrian people are against me, how can I be here? It's not about reconciliation between the Syrian and the Syrian. We don't have civil war. Mm -hmm. It's about terrorism and support coming from abroad to support terrorists to destabilize Syria. This is our war. Russia has stood by Assad throughout the conflict. Some in opposition circles hope that the drive towards a broader, more representative movement will pave the way for regional powers to supply rebels with weapons.